What's up everybody? Pile702 back today with another high-end single coil RDA review. Today we're gonna look at the Hussar version 1 RDA made by Hussar out of Poland. These guys make tanks, they make RDTAs, RDAs. This is the only product that I've ever owned from them. And just so you know, I bought this thing like four or five months ago, I'm guessing. That's right, studied the ancient teaching of booty. So I've had it for a very, 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 very long time. Figured I should put this review up before the version two comes out. I think it's probably might be out. I know they have different satin caps for these, but I digress. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go downtown. I'm gonna show you all around this beautiful high-end Hussar RDA. Got some good throwback music. Pop back up, pros and cons. You know how we do it. All right, the Hussar by Hussar Vapes. And once again, this is an RDA and this is version one. Nothing on the box, on the back here. You can see Hussar Vapes and that is their address in Chalakabusnikiko Street. Nine, nine out of two. Keep out of the reach of children. All right. So the box isn't necessarily that impressive, but once you open it up, ha ha ha, look at that. Originally, actually, when you get this box, it's full of like this shit. It's like a, looks like straw or hay material. It's like all full of that, but it makes a big mess. This right here, this is pretty badass, this case. It's got Hussar right there. That is the symbol for Hussar vapes. And right up top there, you see it says Hussar. Got the Hussar symbol in the RDA. You just kind of unscrew it, it pops right off. There is the Hussar. We're gonna get that out of the way first. Your extras are in the top of your cap right here. Remember now, this is high end, so you're not really gonna get anything. And it seems like the more expensive shit is, the less that they give you. Like pretty soon, they're not even gonna give you a fucking cap, but we'll get to that point. <laughs> You got your O-rings, you have some extra post hole screws, O-ring on for the bottom, and that's it. You don't get uh, any Allen keys, you don't get a 510. This is strictly an RSA, it is for squonking. I'm not sure if any other 510 solids fit in there, but I really don't know why you would drip on this thing, considering it's 510 only, and well, yeah, you'll see. All right, and this is the Hussar RDA made by Hussar Vapes out of Poland. Beautiful Addy stand. As I'll show you, it actually has threading. See, it's got threading and a little stainless steel plate right there, almost like a 510 almost. And then you have this little velvet piece right here that keeps it from scratching the bottom. So this Hussar RDA is very, very, very low profile. The measurements are, it's a 22 millimeter RDA and it's only 17 millimeters tall. That is from the base of the deck to the top of this. And that's not accounting the 510 or the drip tip, which it doesn't come with. <clears throat> and you'll see across the bottom, very simple, very clean. This is 316 stainless steel. Hussar Vapes comes only with a squonk pin. Squonk pin, that's a, looks like a copper squonk pin right there. And then you have your little Hussar symbol right there. You can see right here, the airflow is very, very restrictive. If I'm gonna just base it off a popular mainstream kind of high-end device, this is probably half the airflow of the Haku. So this is getting, you know, this isn't only just restrictive, this is, this is very restrictive. It's not mouth to lung. You can turn this and make it mouth to lung. You can see, I mean, the, the airflow is very, very small. And to adjust it, you just turn it. Easiest way to do this, you're gonna get a sneak peek at the deck. You need to turn it to the left if it's wide open. So instead of doing that, just put it on so you can turn it clockwise. Otherwise, this will unscrew from, from, your, from your mod. So right there, it's totally closed. And as I turn it, see it open? Everything that happens on this side, happens on this side. And as you turn it clockwise, 
now you're fully open. And the reason you have to start from here and turn it clockwise, not only because it'll unscrew from the mod, but also if you keep turning it this way, see that split right there? That is where the actual post hole screws go in. So this is not airflow at all. Like if you line it, if you line up your airflow with that, you're going to be right there where that screw is instead of right here. This is where your airflow is, right here. Top cap. Machining on the Hussar. For a single coil 22 millimeter RDA, it's probably the nicest machining that I've seen yet. I'm sure there's other nice ones out there, maybe even nicer than this, but for me, the machining on this is absolutely gorgeous. Up top here, there's your 510 right there. It takes any 510, does not come with a 510. And there's some little, I guess, I don't know if that's more for just looks. It's not really knurling, because when you turn this thing, you grab it by the cap, you don't grab it up here. So that's more or less aesthetics right there. What's really gonna show you the kind of flavor this thing packs is the inside of this cap. So you can see that bow tie right there. That is to further reduce the chamber. From the top of this to the very top of your airflow right here, that's all stainless steel, it's inside. So this is much lower than the top of your 510, where your 510 drip tip goes in. This sits down much lower, so the, the reduction of this chamber is massive. I mean, there is totally on top of your coil, and this is where the, the flavor really, really turns next level to high-end flavor. Very, very cool, very innovative, very beautiful top cap. And then those two little notches on the side, that is to catch on the actual deck, so you can only spin it so far. Either way, there's a screw that pops up on the deck. I'll show you in a second. Very, very nice top cap. Since we're doing top caps too, I'm just gonna throw in one that I bought from Vape Anushi. And there she is. This is a Chris Munn bell cap. And it was polished by Vape Anushi. You could get these, I think, for around 50 bucks. 50 bucks in that range, but if you want them, 50, 55 bucks. If you want them to polish it for you, it's another like 15 bucks. So in order for you to get it like this, you're gonna spend about $70 just on the cap. Notice on this cap right here, see how it almost looks like two-tone? That's because this right here is solid PMMA. There's a huge doming going on in here, huge conical right there. It really, really, really domes it out. Got a lot of domage going on right here. And this just fits on, just like the other cap. Holes are, I believe the holes are the same. Close enough to me. So, same airflow. This cap, however, it rides higher than the stainless steel cap. You can actually mess around more with your coil placement on this. You can run a bigger coil, you can run it a little higher off the deck, but the airflow is the same. You just put it on to the left of your airflow, and then you just turn it. Now, the fact that you have to do that, it's not really a big deal because I just vape this thing wide open. It's not like this thing has uh, just huge airflow at all. The only way you're gonna cut this airflow down is if you're into mouth to lung, because this right here is as restrictive as I get right here. This is the limit right here. Just thought I'd show you. Very, very nice cap. And of course, this drip tip didn't come with anything. I had to purchase this on my own but you can use whatever 510 that you want. 510 only. What does she have underneath the hood? That's what she has under the hood right there. Tell me that is not a beautiful deck. Look at all of the machining. Look at everything they had to cut out in order to make this, this deck. I mean, this is very, very, very impressive right here. So we'll just start right up top here here right here this is a gold positive so this is a gold this is your positive post right here it's gold you can see peak insulator right there and then this is your negative right here 
you can see your wicking goes here and here. No, this isn't an RDTA, but it almost looks like it the way that these go down. What's very nice about this, in the bottom, very bottom on each side, there's separate squonk holes. So when you squonk, it just fills up these wells on each side. So it does have a very nice little coiling jig cut out right here for you to put your coils in. I would recommend to wrap your coils if you're wrapping them counterclockwise or make sure if you're buying them counterclockwise because that helps keep it raised up slightly so it's not touching the post, the positive and the negative together. You can do it the other way, especially with that Chris Munoz cap because it's got more clearance. But with the cap that comes with this, it's so, it's so reduced that you can't you can't run your coil super high. You can run a three millimeter in here, no problem, but you wanna keep it, you wanna keep it low. Juice wells on this guy. Your juice wells, I say juice wells because they're, they're, they're independent. You're looking at 6.5, six and a half millimeters. So for a very small in stature RDA, this has pretty decent size juice well. This thing, the way that it sets and goes down like this and, and pulls up, it makes the wicking on this. This thing wicks and saturates so efficiently, it's, it's absolutely crazy. These channels right here are your airflow. So your airflow is gonna come in from the side right here and see how this opens up and then it's gonna just blast the coil. Now this is where being able to raise it slightly is gonna be beneficial to the flavor because this, this isn't at any type of an angle. This is basically just a straight shot right in. So if you can get this to hit the bottom half of your coil, the flavor does go up quite a bit. But don't raise your coil once again too high if you're using the stainless steel cap because it will hit the cap. You could do other things like raise it a little bit higher and use a 2.5 or a two millimeter coil. Uh, inner diameter, just a word of caution. When you're using the, the stainless steel cap, you really don't want to raise it that much. And by wrapping it counterclockwise, it'll almost position it perfectly for you once you put it in. You can see that they're fucking awesome and they used tiny Phillips head, not flat head, Phillips head. So very easy to slip your leads in. If you're using round wire, you don't even have to take the screws out. You can just kind of pop them up like that and then you can just slide your leads underneath there and clip them. If you're gonna use like a, I'm gonna use a really, really small fuse clapton, chances are I'll have to remove both of these. Now, speaking of removing stuff, right here there is a screw, it's an Allen head, and they don't provide you with any Allen key or anything that fits this, but when you screw this up, this is what will help catch your, your cap. If you're turning it, those two inside slots, this will help your cap only spin a certain amount of degrees and then catch. For me, I didn't really search out to try to find this. I mean, I tried, I tried this guy right here. You know, I broke out my, my key here and even my smallest, even my smallest one doesn't, it's too big. So the, the size of this is really small. It's in there, just so you guys know it's in there, but I run this thing wide open. The only time I rotate my cap is when I first put it on so I can rotate it to wide open. But it is in there, just, just so you know. There's a screw in there and most people have them screwed out. I don't have them screwed out, but I'm aware of it, so you guys don't have to tell me. You can see on the side here, it says Hussar RDA number, what number am I? I'm number, 1,687. So I know they've made at least uh, probably 2,000 of these, probably a lot more. So you got that right there. Laser engraved. Your peak insulator and your positive right here, you can see that there's, there's actually, it's concaved in there to drop it down, you know, to give you the ability to, to squeeze in a little bit larger of a build. Very nice touch on that. That is pretty much it. I mean, there's not a lot to this as far as it's a single coil, it's an RDA. There is a lot to the machining to this. There it is. Look at that. Side by side. It would go on just like that. Feeling a little saucy, you can go out and pick up this Chris Munn bell cap right here. 
I still don't know which one I'm gonna use yet, but I guess my build will determine that. That is the Hussar 1.0 out of Poland by Hussar Vapes. Y'all know what time it is? Hit it. Child's fragile eggshell mind. Blood in the streets in the town of New Haven. Blood stains the roofs and the palm trees of Venice. Blood in my love in the terrible summer. Bloody red sun of fantastic LA. And that was some Doors, Peace Frog, for you guys. Love the Doors. And most importantly, that was the Hussar RDA by Hussar Vapes out of Poland. Single coil, 316 stainless steel, reduced chamber. Let's take it for a rip. Oh, and it's on top of the Vicious Ant Spade 21700. Beautiful mod. If you have not seen a review on this or you want one, I will post my review right there. Wow. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do pros and cons. Start off with the cons, end with the pros, because we always end on a positive note around here. No bullshit. Cons on the Hussar RDA. I'm gonna tell you right now, none of my cons have anything to do with the performance of this RDA. So we'll just get the couple little nitpicks out of the way. One, I think when I bought this, this was closer to, this was closer to like $140 when I first picked this up. For that kind of money, if you're spending $140 on an RDA, give me a, a drip tip. Just give me a drip tip, just throw it in. I mean, you guys are making money, just throw in a drip tip. Doesn't even have to be that nice, just give me a drip tip. And then give me the Allen key that fits that little fucking hole on the deck, that little screw that you pull up that catches the cap. Even though I don't move the cap. I mean, those are two things I feel like it should come with for that price. How much does a fucking tiny ass Allen key cost? and then like a cheap ass Delrin drip tip or you could do stainless steel, whatever. Those are my only 
cons on that and that's just solely extras that I feel like it should have came with that it didn't come with. As well there should be because you're a very good looking man. Put you in a bubble bath, they put some water wings on you and I, I'd smack your little bottom. But listen. But that's it. That's all that I have for cons on the Hussar. Pros on the Hussar. First and foremost on this is going to be flavor. If you guys are flavor chasers and you love single coil RDAs, this thing, and you love a restrictive hit, this is the guy for you. The flavor on this, I was going to just use a round wire build. I did put a, a small fuse clapped in like 30 on the inside and 40 on the outside. So very, very small. And I run this thing in the point fours on a mech. Point fours. I've tried other builds, I've built lower, and like when you get below like a point three, you murder like the, you murder the flavor in a bad way. Like the flavor goes away. Like I put in like a point two five or a point two two build in here, and I felt like I killed a kitten. Like I took a rip off and I was like, oh fuck, what happened? What happened to my flavor? So don't build low. Round wire in this is fantastic. I, I was gonna use round wire, I don't have any. It's lost somewhere, I need to pick some up. Flavor on this thing is insane. The flavor on this thing, it's it's up there in the very top with the top RDAs that I like, Haku, the Flav, B2K. It's been a minute since I vaped this thing, I forgot how fucking good it is. Airflow. This is as restrictive as I was I would ever ever go, but it's perfect. It, this is absolutely perfect for a restrictive you know, close to mouth to lung, high ohm build. This is European vaping right here. And like I've said a million times, vaping is like a cultural thing. Hitting, you know, you could be from the Philippines and Philippines are bringing the power, they're bringing the clouds, they're bringing all of that. A lot of like European vapors and stuff like that run more single coil, more round wire builds or high ohm builds and much more restrictive. And I can see why, I mean, the flavor on this thing is amazing, but the airflow, I've already, I've already probed the flavor. The airflow on this wide open is perfect. You know how quiet it is? How smooth, it's so smooth. All you hear is the, the coil popping a little bit, but the airflow, it's perfect. I would say comparing it to like the Haku, it would be like taking the Haku and shutting it down by like 30% right around there, maybe 40%. If you're not into very restrictive direct lung, then you probably wouldn't want this. You'd want to go to something a little bit bigger like the Haku or whatever. But if you're into mouth to lung or you're into very restrictive, the airflow on this is, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Next pro, and I could have started off with this one easily, is gonna be the machining. The machining on this thing is absolutely Beautiful. There is no scratches, no blemishes, no burrs. There's no anything. The fit and finish, the O-ring tolerances, the tolerances, everything about this thing. It was machined high end, and it was machined, and it was built the right way the first time. And for me, that's something that I'm going to, you know, really harp on when it comes to high end stuff. You know, when you get high, when you pay premium dollar, when you get your product whatever kind of hardware it is, they should build it right the first time. You guys all saw my uh, Rebel DNA 75 squonk, put it right there. That's an example of what not to do when you're charging premium dollar. Sheening on this, fantastic. Oh, top cap, so accessories. There's lots of accessories to this, so that's another pro. There's a, they have like satin finishes now, they have different top caps that are kind of slanted like that. And then let me put on the, uh, that bell cap. Eh? Look at that. Chris Mun or Chris Munoz bell cap from Vape Nushi. Not cheap, but looks fucking killer. Now, if you're gonna go down this road, I'll let you know that you you kind of need to raise your coil up a little bit more and you can build a little bit lower. But the crazy thing is, is that, I mean, I only have this cap in the original stock cap, but the original stainless steel cap has better flavor. This looks, I think, way cooler and it still has good flavor, but this little guy right here, 17 millimeter, 
with a reduced chamber, this is where it's at. This flavor on here is exceptional. Flavor on here is still better than most single coil RDAs. You, once again, you, can, you could put in a lower build and you can raise your coil up a little bit more and then you can kind of dial this in close to that and then kind of sacrifice a little bit of flavor for looks if that's important to you. Just putting it out there. But for me, the stainless steel cap. Next pro is going to be the deck. The deck just looks fucking badass, like with those two separate tiny skonk wells. I should have shown you, I should have squonked with no cotton in there to show you how it distributes, but it comes out evenly and fills up those wells like that. The way it's got that, that gold positive post and the whole thing has a nice um, coiling jig insert to it that puts your coil pretty much bang on where you want it with this cap on it and inside of this top cap how it's got that reduced chamber that little bow tie cut into it so you can so it can just really smash down that flavor very very to me it's a very beautiful deck and it's a very beautiful top cap and it when you look at it you know that the fucking thing is not cheap you know it's not like a 1999 you know something coming from somewhere else it's uh You've definitely stepped into the, the world of high end. Price, what is the Hussar RDA version one gonna cost you? Like I said earlier, when I purchased this originally from Vaping Artists, like kind of when it was still new, and it was, I wanna say it was like a 140. Now I can find this now online, you know, Vaping Art and a couple other places for like 120 bucks. So. It's gonna cost you 120 plus shipping. For a high end, it's priced accordingly. High ends usually come in around like 80 bucks and go all the way up to 200, whatever. You know, if you're gonna get this and that uh, bell cap, you're gonna spend $200, period. But for a buck 20, if you're into rocking singles and squonking and you're into like restrictive, just big flavor, highly, highly, highly recommend the Hussar. And I'm, uh, I'm actually disappointed in myself. I haven't vaped it a lot lately because I've had so much shit come in. One of the things about being a reviewer is like you, you find something and you fall in love with it, but you have to be constantly vaping other things for your reviews. And then so, you know, you vape for a couple of weeks or whatnot, and then, then you review it and then you're on to the next one. And so this has sat for a while and I've totally, totally have not, when I bring up like my top tier of RDAs, it's a con on me to not include this because it's fucking that good. The flavor is ridiculous. All right, so that's it. That's all that I have for the Hussar RDA version one by Hussar Vapes out of Poland. I'd like to give a shout out to myself for buying it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like the ones with a story. I like the one with a locker room scene. I like the one with a shower scene. I like the ones with a white girl. I'm into feet. I like the one with the horses. I like the one with hairy women. What's wrong with you? So if you're looking to pick one of these up, I will leave links to a couple different places in the description. And also just a huge shout out to you guys for tuning in, watching, subscribing. Just keep on plugging away. I have a blast. You know, you guys are, I, I learned so much from you guys' comments. There's so many things that as a reviewer, I'll just tell you right now, cause I went from being a fucking hardcore YouTuber, leaving comments everywhere, millions of comments, just check them out. Like all the old shit, you'll see my comments everywhere. When you become a reviewer, it's like you almost know less. You do, you know less than, than the people that watch your videos. There's plenty of you guys that know way more about this than I do. <coughs> the fictitious character. <clears throat> it's just something that's nice that we have such a good group and such a knowledgeable group of people that constantly watch this channel and leave comments comments like you know on the recurve how it actually does you know 120 130 i didn't see that video from mooch but that's what you guys are for you guys got my back and i appreciate that and i appreciate all of your guys support on that note i don't know what's going on out there in the world today but if you're watching it's monday so hopefully a little high end single coil vaping made your monday a little bit better and other than that around here with my gorgeous beautiful flavorful Hussar RDA on top of this Vicious Ant Spade 21700. Life is good and it is definitely all love. I'll catch you guys on the next one.